to you know feel good and do something crazy my name is blessing and today i want to talk about cooking there are so many things about cooking you know several people come to my house and they see me baking and doing stuff and they're like oh can you teach me that can you teach me how to do this and that and so i just start to myself by the way yeah i like to cook a lot but i necessarily do not use a lot of measurements when I want to learn something new, I actually go Google it and I just basically look at the steps and the ingredients involved and I use my intuition. So today I want to talk about the importance of using your intuition while cooking. It's very, very important and necessary to have a level of creativity while cooking. This may sound absurd and stupid, but that's reality. That's like true. Because when you are cooking, sometimes you, if, if, if you don't use your creativity, if you don't have your own intuition, then you'll be forced to have somebody telling you, okay, put this amount of salt, do this, do that. So, when cooking sometimes, look, it's a matter of daring. Cooking is not really something everyone is caught at for or called at for. But if you like to cook and you feel like, mm, I want to give it a try, you just need to dare it. You know, cooking is daring. It's like, I'm going to add the salt and see how it tastes. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of lime and see how it tastes. And you know, sometimes I just do stuff with my intuition. I just tell myself, okay, let me add this. Let me add yeast. Even when, you know, I'm supposed to add the yeast earlier on, but then I'm adding it at a later time. I just kind of try it and it works out. And I kind of, I'm always proud of myself when I'm able to do that. So give it a try, guys. You know? <laughs> when you are cooking do not necessarily be afraid like have i put the right amount of this let me check online the measurement you know you need i don't have a scale in my house like i don't even scale my flour when i want to measure it and use it for something i don't scale the quantity of baking powder i make shortbread i don't scale the quantity of of sugar you need i just use my intuition i just think to myself okay you know i think there's enough and i test it also like i get to taste it and by looking at it too i've i'm getting used to cooking not that after so i've gotten used to it i'm getting used to cooking to the extent that when i look at something i know what i need especially when i'm baking when i look at it i kind of know okay i need sugar i need butter i need flour i need baking powder i need yeast you know it has gotten to that point and i'm still growing in it so i decided to share with you guys the importance of using your intuition when you are cooking or baking or doing any stuff in the kitchen okay all right and always be thankful <laughs>